my hobby space is a mess. And it's stressing me out and making me less productive. So I hopped online and found a free customizable solution that I can print at home. To get this done, I've been working my Creality K1C very hard indeed. And while it's not always been smooth, the results are worth it. Hi, my name's James. 3D printers are great, but up till this point, I've only used them to basically make toys. So when Creality offered me a printer, I knew I wanted to do a little bit more than just make stuff to clutter up my office. I wanted functional stuff that will improve my hobby and make it more fun. And so I jumped onto YouTube and researched useful things I could print. I've popped the links below, but here's what I made. My kids have been really chuffed with these bookmarks I made for them too. And so when I came across this channel and this honeycomb system, I saw an opportunity and I took it. So this space has gone through some pretty massive changes. Seven years ago, this was actually an old kitchen. Then I hacked it up and made my office. Then two years ago, I made it into how it is today. And since then, it's steadily filled full of crap. And now all the mess is just doing my head in. I don't know about you, but when I'm feeling more stressed, I can just feel the mess closing in around me. Yeah, it's not my most productive state. I'm a big believer that the less barriers you have in the way of your hobby, the more likely you are to just pick up your brush and to start painting something. And that's the point, right? First up, I found the files. I've linked them down below, don't worry. I ran off a quick 100 by 100 honeycomb in Hyper PLA just to see what it looked like, and I wanted to test the concept. Once I'd proven it worked, it was time to follow the amazing advice of the next layer. Seriously, you should check his channel out. And grabbed some PETG filament, which is a bit tougher and more UV resistant than PLA. So I laid out what was in my drawers and worked out what I needed. In the end, I needed 15 sheets, plus all the accessories. So for this thing, I used about one full roll of yellow PETG and about half a roll of black. And I think I paid around £30 for that. Many days later, I have it all printed and ready to fix. Fitting is a simple case of marking out the holes for your fixing. I'm strewing into drywall, so I use these little bad boys for mounting on the wall. And then the fun begins. Eventually, I settled on long hooks for the rolls, short hex cups for the lenses, hex shelves for screwdrivers and drills, two pliers holders for pliers and knives, an SD card holder and an assortment of flat and bucket shelves. No doubt I'll add more in time, but for now, that works for me. I want to make sure my workflow makes sense, so I don't just put everything in tightly straight away, and I'll just have a play around with the layout, really. And eventually, I've got a layout I'll look the look of. What do you think? Are you going to give something like this a go? Or have you done something better? Let me know in the comments. So thanks to Creality, I now have a tool that makes lots of useful things. I've said on this channel before, what I'm looking for are simple tools that just work, that allow me to just do more of what I love, easily. And so far, that's exactly what I've got with the Creality K1C. I get it, some folks really enjoy dialing in their printer to the nth degree. They use Orca, or Prusa, or Clipper, or maybe even Bob the Slicer. But I don't really care about any of that. I just want a simple printer that works. So for those of you who are interested in the printer, it breaks down like this. I printed this Benchy in just over 15 minutes using Creality's Hyper PLA. This printer is fast, which means less hanging around waiting for prints to come off the printer. It's also fully enclosed, so it smells less, has a more stable temperature, which should lead to less failures, but also it looks great. It's got a self-leveling bed, so you don't have to fuss around with all that nonsense either. Just a quick explainer here, because this printer isn't to be confused with the original K1, which, although I've never reviewed that printer or even actually seen it, was by all accounts flawed. No, this is the K1C. It's got a new, tougher nozzle, and internal components in the hot end, meaning it can print more abrasive filaments. That includes carbon fiber. But the best thing about this printer are some of the idiot proofing specs that it's got on board. A filament detection, which pauses your print before it runs out, and a camera which detects issues and lets you create cool time lapses. It costs just over 500 pounds and is available via the link below, which takes you to their sale, which is on right now. This isn't a sponsored video, but I should say that Creality did send me the print to try and I am very grateful that they did. 
something that I can justify all the time spent and that, along with my laser, allows me to produce things that not only benefit me, but benefit those around me too. And if you like discovering new tools that unlock your creativity, you should check out this video next. Although maybe you shouldn't because you're definitely gonna want one of those too. And listen, I just wanna say a huge thank you to everyone who supports me over on Patreon. You know who you are, I couldn't do this without you. And if you wanna support me over on Patreon too, you can do so for about the same price as a cup of coffee. You'll find the links in the description below. And I guess all that's left to say is, thank you very much. And I'll see you next time.